Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of this Web Application Hacking Challenge. We've been able to exploit a SQL injection vulnerability and uh, we've gained access to some passwords as well as users. We also performed a directory brute force and we found the admin panel. So let's use those credentials and see if we can log in. Let's get started. All right, let's go to slash admin. Okay, so we land on the administrator uh, panel. Let's use the admin with our password that we found in the database. So that was this password. Drum rolls, login. Yes, we gain access as administrators to the application. And we have a bunch of new features. We can add downloads, add videos, delete videos, add categories, etc., etc. We want to get remote code execution. We want to get root on that box. So uh, since we already are admin, we don't have to bother uh, exploiting any cross-site scripting vulnerability. Uh, what else do we have? Any Anything that could be interesting here? Edit downloads. Maybe we can upload a uh, web shell. So let's click on edit downloads. Uh, SQL map 08. Let's choose that. Let's see if we can upload something using this uh, editor. So we have an image here. Insert edit image. If I click on it, there is an upload tab. And uh, we can choose to upload our file. So what I can do here is create a simple web shell. Let's call it webshell.php. And inside, I'm just going to upload a web shell that would perform system function using a get request a get parameter that has the name X. Okay. And let's upload it. All right, send it to the server. I really would like to learn how this works behind the scenes. So I'm going to activate burp. And let's send it to the server. Let's see what happens behind the scenes. If I go to proxy, this is the request that gets triggered. And as you can see, it's under FCK editor. Send it to the repeater and let's uh, hit send. And what do we have here? Do we have any path to that file? Nope. Okay, let's uh, go to this and maybe choose to go to the folder slash uploads because that that's one of the folders that we found using directory enumeration. So we have files, we have flash and image directories. Let's click on the file directory. We have nothing under that. We also have a link to include. So if I type localhost, what do we, what would we have here? Browse the server. Okay, it opens a new feature, which allows us to seemingly upload files using the FCK editor browser feature. So we are under file. Okay, so here we can see the same folders that we found under uploads, file flash image, file flash image and media. So under file, I can choose to upload my web shell. Okay, let's try to upload it. And it seems that it has been uploaded. Okay, let's go back to slash uploads and fetch the file directory and yes, we find the path where our web shell gets uploaded. So as you can see, it's just a matter of clicking around and discovering the features 
offered by the application until you find something interesting. You have a vision. Since we've already had an admin access to the application, it doesn't make sense to test for cross-site scripting unless you're a bug bounty hunter and you want to uh, get paid for the bugs that you report. But in a, the case of a penetration testing assessment, you want to reach your goal with less friction as possible. So if we go directly to that PHP file, as you can see, we get nothing. And that's because we need the parameter called X. And I want to run the operating system command ID. And if everything goes well, we should have indeed the result. So this is running as the user www dash data. Okay, uh, what do we have under the home directory? Hmm, we have a user called exploit. Okay, so let's uh, use a recursive ls. And uh, it seems that we can access the home directory of the user exploit. But I don't think we have anything interesting here. Since we have the user exploit, I wonder if we could upload something to his directory like uh, authorized key, or we could, you know what? We've never tried to brute force credentials using SSH. So let's do that. Let's try this time with the user exploit. So dash lowercase exploit for the username and for the password, let's try the uh, passwords that we found earlier in the uh, SQL injection. Sometimes developers or sysadmins just uh, reuse their passwords. And we want the uh, attack to stop whenever we find a matching valid credentials. So that's what we can do with capital F. I want to be verbose to see all the attempts. Um, I also want to test for no passwords and password the same as the username. And I want also reverse the username, like the password in this case would be T I O L B X E. And uh, the target would be SSH, the protocol, and then ctf05.rootme.org. Let's run it. Oh, we get a hit here. The username is the same as the password. So SSH uh, exploit at ctf05.rootme.org. I'm just going to remove that and let's accept the prompts. And for the password, I'm just going to use exploit drum rolls and we're in perfect. So what do we have here in bash history maybe? dot bash history. We don't have bash history. I see it right there. Mm hmm. Pseudo pass WD root. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this user could change passwords of other users. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let's uh, type pseudo dash L to verify that the password is exploit. Oh, okay. This Actually, the user can do whatever they want because they have all all. If you recall from a previous challenge, we were able to poison the sudoers file and inject in this value to get, to get root. But in this case, we already are root. We just need to run sudo and then whatever command we want. In this case, I'm going to run su. And voila, I am root. Perfect. All right, there are other ways that we can use to um, exploit this box. For example, we could have followed the lead of um, this remote code execution through a file upload by getting a reverse shell, uh, doing some kind of enumeration. We also could have maybe exploited a uh, vulnerable version of the kernel. I guess this is quite an old kernel. Yep. 2.6 is a really old kernel. And the version of the Ubuntu distribution is 10.0504. It's a really old distribution, so 
uh, we can also download the linp scripts that we've used in previous challenges and uh, get root using an exploit that could work as well i generally tend to avoid this and make it like at the bottom of the list of attempts to perform it, privilege escalation i always try to first exploit any misconfigurations to gain root. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. There are a lot of other new challenges that I'm going to showcase. So make sure to subscribe and hit that ring bell to receive a notification once the videos go live. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.